Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, we see some drafting tips in CATIA V5. Here we have three views which is gener generated from a part. For generative drafting, can we edit dimension? See, I give dimension length and I also give width thickness by using dimension option first thing we, we need to know is can we edit this dimension 150 if you double click you can't edit you can't edit dimension in generative drafting this is generated this view is generated from the part from this part here we can't edit dimension but when we edit here dimension I give 130 then that is updated in dropping update like this we have to modify we have to edit dimension in dropping then when we create drawing interactive drafting see I select geometry creation toolbar profile option and I create a profile now for this profile also we can give dimension for this profile we can give dimension I apply dimension then this is a dimension given for interactive dropping this view is not generated from the part then we can edit this dimension double click select draw geometry and now I change 275 then dimension here we can edit dimension then for generative dropping this view is generated from the part as we have discussed this can't be edited or modified so to change this dimension instead of going into part and changing in sketcher right click on properties here we have dimension go to value here there is an option called fake dimension select that now I check this then I enter some 50 then the dimension can edit now the dimension is showing a 50 mm this we have changed by going into property selecting fake dimension then how can we identify between fake dimension and original dimension see I give dimension worth for this 100 mm see here we have a toolbar called visualization in this if we check analysis display mode I check analysis display mode then you can you can observe that hot that fake dimension sh will be showing in brown color here you can see the generated dimension from the part original dimension is shown in black color I apply dimension nearer to the fake dimension then you can see the difference see the difference this difference you can see only by checking this analysis display mode option so keep analysis display mode option on to identify fake dimension this can be also used when you generate auto dimension see I go for a new sheet I generate multi views I go for front top left here we got a three views then 
there's a two bar called generation in this select generate dimension so instead of manually generating dimensions for each element simply select generate dimension then go for ok then you can see some default dimension automatically generated so as we didn't generate this dimension it shows in light green color light green color can't we change this in a black color okay as a normal dimension then the same thing visualization toolbar as we checked on analysis display mode for that reason it is showing in a light color then if you check out this those dimensions will be similar as if you give dimension manually see here like this so analysis display mode is used to check whether there are fake dimensions whether there are automatically generated dimensions see here in the same way we have a command next to analysis display mode filter generated elements when we use this option means say suppose uh, you have created manually created some drawings in generative drop in see say suppose this line is not visible or i go to sheet 1 see say suppose this line when you generate a drop in suppose if that line is not appearing then you can use a manual drawing by going into geometry creation manually you can create a line like this by seeing this you can't identify then when you select this filter generated elements filter gen filter generated elements means it filters all the elements which are generated from the existing model then see i keep this on then the part which is generated the view which is generated from the part is showing in ash color and the line which we have drawn manually is shown in dark color this is also a manual drawing interactive drop interactive drawing uh, we have done so it shows in black color like this we can filter which is a generated dropping and which is interactive dropping so you have to we can check by selecting this on filter generated elements in visualization toolbar keep on off thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to our channel